The next question to Dr. Lisch. I would like to receive the backhole frequencies on MSAT between 13.00 and 13.15, 13.2 and 13.25 GHz. Are there any suitable LNBs available on the market or could fix the problem by myself? Yes, he could fix the problem by himself, what radio uh, amateurs can do. You can do also only the other way around. Radio amateurs, they want to go down in frequency, we want to go up in frequency. As I said months ago, we need for this an older LNB, an older HEMT LNB with the screwed housing. That's very important. So what you need is a screwdriver, uh, some glue and a lot of luck. This is all. Have a look on the short video. Radio amateurs use the 10 GHz band for ATV, which stands for Amateur Television. Of course you can get the right LNBs for that particular frequency from your local amateur TV specialist. But they are quite expensive and whoever calls himself a true ham radio amateur will try and modify an existing LNB by himself. In order to lower the local oscillator frequency to 9 GHz for amateur needs, we only need, as mentioned at the beginning, not more than an old suitable LMB, a flat trapeze capacitor, some crazy glue and, for checking the frequency, an old analog satellite receiver. In terms of LMBs, you should go with the blue caps or even older. You would have to nearly destroy today's modern and cheap LMBs to get to their guts. Lowering the LOF is rather simple. First, we look for the DRO, that is the dielectric resonant oscillator. It is also called the pill, due to its tablet-shaped appearance and therefore very easy to find. The DRO is simply pushed up by a millimeter. This is done by placing a drop of glue underneath it. Now the oscillator frequency is lowered by about 350 megahertz. You don't necessarily need to lift up the DRO if you glue a sanded flat capacitor onto the DRO. It may take a while until the correct LOF has been set. For an increase of the LOF, we do not need any glue, but we need a Dremel to alter some small parts mechanically. But that Dremel can be expensive, so we use our electric toothbrush and cut off the hair on the replaceable brush. In lieu of the hair, we affix a small round piece of sandpaper on the top and our low-cost Dremel is ready to go. Now we sand off the surface on the DRO, very carefully though. This is about a hundredth of a millimeter. We stop many times and put the LMB inside the antenna and look for a reference signal that we fixed in the lower half of the high band. If we did everything correctly, then the signal will go up in frequency since we increase the LOF. It would be nice to have a spectrum analyzer, but not everyone has one. Therefore, we calculate the modified LOF in comparison to the reference signal of the original IF. Not every LMB is suitable, and you will need some time and patience. But usually, the reward will be there. How to build a KU-band transmitter from an old LMB? will be explained next time.